Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today number 28 of this current series where I focus on Southern California eating establishments. Back in 1908, this particular spot opened its doors, making it one of the longest continually operating restaurants in Los Angeles. I'm heading downtown, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Had to recharge a few batteries, got them packed up now, and putting them in the bag, and off I go. I know, Big the Foot, and I agree with you 100%. Pretty happy we're en route to this spot as well. I have arrived at Philippe the Original, sometimes referred to as Philippe's. I believe they accept either or. There's a couple different parking lots to choose from. This one's on the other side of the road. Reserved specifically for this restaurant's customers. When it comes to LA, this place is a staple. That's for sure. French dip sandwiches. Don't mind if I do. That's what I'm gonna have. Now as the story goes, as best as I recall, this sandwich kind of started as an accident. It fell into the sauce and the gentleman was in such a hurry to get back to work that he consumed it. Came back the next day and said, I want that same item. And it just kind of, the wheels were in motion and the rest is history. Just below that historical marker is the signage for the cross streets. Ord and Alameda Street. The 900 block. I have been here once before. Don't believe I documented the occasion, however. At least not in the full extent that I will be traversing today. It's been a few years ago as well. In quite a few years. Notice down on the far end there, the old neon sign also still remains. Celebrating their 100th anniversary back in 2008. It's been around for a while. Open daily from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Some lengthy hours for all us hungry folk. This tree branch is providing some proper framing to this angle. Nice. It looks as if at this time frame, there's not really a whole lot of people in line, which could be a good thing. They have all the statements out front and the markers along the ground that go all the way down the side of the building. I have met up with Deacon from Deacon's Universe. You ever been here before? Yeah, it's been about seven years. Seven years, a long time. Yeah, it is a long time. How many times before that have you eaten here? Oh. Oh, too many, I don't, I don't know. You lost count. <laughs> yeah. So what's the go-to? If I have to order something, what would you recommend for me? Oh, the, the French dip. Just the standard, the standard French dip? Yeah. Does it come in a platter or is it just the just the sandwich itself? Um, well, they have 10 different stations. You go up and they, you ask for, they're, they're called carvers and they'll get you whatever you want. So they carve it right in front of you? Yeah, and they have everything from, uh, they, have, they also make their own chili, their own stew, they make their own lemonade. And he uh, started it in 1908 over where the 101 freeway now resides they actually had oh. to move it in the 50 yeah it was 1951. so this has only been here since the 50s the original yeah. is over by the 101. Yes. okay i was yes. mistaken on that and in 1918 is when he accidentally made the french dip okay he dropped it in a bat of some greasy gravy and and uh, the the patron said, "Hey, just leave it. Give it to me." Yeah, that's and, what I heard. And then the next, and then the uh, guy came back the next day with friends, and that that began the whole thing. Yeah. All right, let's go in there. Let's All go right. get some. Let's go get some chow. The owner sold it to three brothers who used to rent out horse wagons in uh, 1929. Three brothers, so the guys who had horse wagons. They, they used to rent out oh, horse they wagons. They would rent out the horse wagons. They, they, they bought the uh, place for like $5,000. It's happening. They also have breakfast. Starting at 6 a.m. I don't know if a French dip would be 
the best for breakfast. But got the markers here. And they have this kind of stationed off. They have this middle section here stationed off so you follow the, the line. A lot of old newspaper clippings as well stretching along the side. The beef dip is $8.95. They also have other options. Should I go with the beef dip? Just a regular beef dip, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with the beef dip and maybe a side and a drink. Proudly serving Dolores chili and gourmet coffee. Davina gourmet coffee and Coca-Cola. This is also a popular item here. These are pickled eggs. Well, like deviled eggs? Pickled and no, not deviled. The devil would have the, the stuff inside. These are pickled eggs. I don't know why I said deviled eggs. I like deviled eggs. I don't know if I've ever had a pickled egg. Have you ever had a pickled egg? Actually, no. You never have? I've seen those. And they're pickled in meat juice, but I've never had them. Should I try one? Can I get a pickled egg also? Let's get a pickled egg. Let's do it. We also have some... I guess that slaw there in the middle, and macaroni salad, and potato salad there on the far end. And this is, is this flan or banana pudding? Oh, tapioca pudding, oh, tap, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna regret not getting the tapio tapioca. All right, got both of ours right here. Look at this, this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> are, you, are you happy about this? I resisted temptation and did not get uh, soda pop. I went with two bottles of water. I did get the one side, but I did not get any of the the mac salad or the the other items that they had. You went with the bottle Coke. Nice. That was bad. It's not that bad. I've, I've downed many of those mm, in my day. Do you so think good. Do you think it's better in a bottle or in a can? Oh, it's way better in a bottle. That's that's. I agree with you. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay, so these are the same. Oh, you're going in. Okay, we got two of these. So you, they're the, they're the same same order, right? Uh huh. And we got the what kind of sauce is this? This is like beef. Ar, I can't pronounce it. Uh, beef ar arju. 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 Okay. So you grab that one. Take that. Are these the same? Are they both? Were they both dipped? If they're both dipped, but then also they gave us the they extra. gave us some extra. This one almost looks a little b a bit more more dipped. More dipped than that. Well, choose whichever one you want. Whichever Doesn't whatever matter. your preference yeah. is. You get that one. Okay. And I'll get this one here. And then we'll save. You gonna go have these yeah, on the Okay, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Warm? Yeah. It's perme it's permeating the heat up. Oh look at that. Mm. Is there anything on there? Some mustard? Is there uh, mustard or anything? I don't I don't think there's mustard. I think they just, just, just straight, just straight up. Yeah. Man, that looks so good. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh. And they give you extra. Well, I, you had to ask for this. They don't normally give that to you, but I, I said, can we get a little extra to dip it in? Because these don't come, normally come with the extra dip. Oh. Yeah, they, they dip. This is dipped. And this is a little bit extra. Should we dip it or just go straight in? I'm gonna just uh, try the first one by itself. Okay. And then I'm gonna dip it on the next one. I'll do the same. Okay. Ready? Let's do it. That is really good. That is so good. I, I have to. There's a lot of flavor going on in there. But they don't fully drench it. It's just kind of a little, a little damp around that edge. Now, they're not sure why they named it the French dip. They say it might either be because of Philippe's French heritage or because it's on a French roll, but they, the history kind of got lost with it. Why it was named the French dip. I also read, don't know if this is true or not, that the guy who came back the next day to get the mistake, his last name mm. was French. I did read that too. Yeah, you're right. So you never know. Mm. Is the pepper good? Yeah. 
<laughs> is it? <laughs> it's alright? No, not too bad. Not too hot? It's spicy. When you get to the seeds, it's when it gets really spicy. I'm not a real big pepper guy. I'll try one though. You know what? Let's do it. Pretty hot. Tip oh, I can heat. smell the heat. Just, just, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it down though. It's gone. Oh yeah. See, I'm not a pe I'm not a pepper guy. Ooh. Oh man, that is a little bit of heat there. <laughs> okay. I handled it. The good thing about a little bit of spicy is it releases endorphins and make you happy. Okay. Some of it is falling off of the bun. <laughs> well, not a bun itself. This be a hoagie? A French roll. A French roll. A French roll hoagie. I'm missing the top portion of the bread. That's all right. Oh, you know what? I haven't dipped it in here yet. Oh, yeah. That just goes right in there and softens up the bread big time. Right. Okay. That's how it's done. Yeah. It was really good without this. This takes it to the next level. I want to try this mustard now. Mm. That's supposed to be very hot mustard. Yeah, like she said, it's like wasabi hot. Wasabi hot? Yeah. I'm gonna put just a tiny couple drops. Yeah. Oh, my lips are burning from that pepper. A little too much of that pepper. Uh huh. I'm gonna do mustard and the dip. I'm going to reiterate what Deacon just mentioned, the spicy mustard on the roll, or on the bread, mixed with this, is that, that's that's the combo right there, all, all three of those items. That's, that's, just in the short time we've been here, it's gotten a lot busier, it's like a, a little bit of a line behind us now. I say a lot busier, but it's gotten busier, people are starting to come in. Yeah, that mustard is good. It's really not that hot. No. Got that horseradish kick to it. Very horseradish. Okay, that's hot. I put a little too much. This is the last section. This is the last bite. Last bite? I should just drench it down in this. Need some of that mustard. Need some of that mustard on there. Going hot on the mustard. It's got some kick to it. That is so tasty. There's not more meat left, but I'm just getting the rest of that. Just the bread. Done. Gone. Completed. With the exception of these items. Not the salt, not the salt and pepper. The exception of these items. You gonna go half and half on these with me? All right. You gonna go with one? Sure. So the purple. It's pretty. Good. Grab yours. It's pretty. This is, I've never done this. This was an impulse purchase. Right. Let's do it, let's go. Get ready. Okay. It's like a traditional hard-boiled egg with just a, a little slight, bit of yeah, a little bit of twang. Yeah, it just tastes like a hard-boiled egg with just a little bit of yeah, a little bit of beet it flavor has, to it. That's it, the beet flavor. So it's beet juice. Oh no, not the kind of beet. Much better than I expected it to be. Yeah, that is good. I almost want to get another one, but the line the line's pretty long. Whoa! I didn't even notice that. We got here and just they're really good. I could eat like six of those. I like it. I would feel uncomfortable afterwards, but those, <laughs> are, those are good. I'm gonna get those if I ever see them again. Total for both our meals combined, 
$29.07. So $17.90 for the beef single dips. Oh, I forgot to get the double. You know, double would have been too much. Double the meat would have been too much. Two bottles of water, a Coke in a bottle, and a pickled egg. Total of $26.55. Add in the LA County tax. $2.52 comes to $29.07. Just kind of browse around to some of the other accessories along the, all the walls. There is a lot to look at, and they have merchandise. T-shirts right up top there, and this little stand, little candy stand that you can peruse. The hot mustard is for sale individually for $5. Coffee mugs for $10. Hats, $14. I wonder if I should get a shirt or not. I have a lot of t-shirts, but you kind of can never have too many. Oh, look at this. Little tote bags as well. I'm going to opt out of the shirts, but it's good to know they have them. A little mascot there, a bobblehead mascot. Oh, it says that the bobblehead is no longer available. Display only. Oh, here's some nails from the original building. And they have some pens and patches as well. And you can see just how busy it's gotten now. This line is very lengthy. A nice stained glass window there. Check that out. That's pretty it's pretty cool. And this is this is amazing. This train went right over. But that's 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 right here in the same neighborhood. The train just went right over. Here's a close-up of the train car that went over the road. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. is over. Classic car alert. Worked it in. I worked it in. Nailed it. There goes the Metro Rail.